Hello students. So in MATLAB we also have another option which is related to the 3D plotting of uh, any waveform of any or any mathematical function. So let us talk about it and for it I am again going to the script file here and again writing CLC and clear all. Okay. Uh, so now again let me write t equal to from 0 and 0 0.0. 0, 1 and here 1 as well okay uh, similarly the first waveform here i have is the x equal to sine of 2 into pi into f into t okay so that is the sinusoidal wave and the frequency i have here is again let me have it 1 hertz as well for the simplicity and another waveform here is let's let me have the cause waveform and that is here 2 into pi into f into t okay so that these are basically the two waveforms and i can plot them separately as i have mentioned in my previous videos so uh, for plotting or seeing the 3d plot uh, of this waveform what i can do here there is a command here that is the plot 3 okay so in plot 3 what i can do here first of all i have to write the first waveform or the mathematical function here similarly the second map here and at the end i have to write the time instance up to which i have to plot them okay so it will plot this one for the first time instant and the other one for the second time instance in such a way that those two time instances will be connecting it will be connected in such a way that t will have the replica in the form of x and y coordinate okay so uh, let me plot it and you will see that how is it possible so first let me uh, save it so plt3 Give me, giving it a name of plt3 and now you will see that this is the 3d plot in which i can very clearly see that the first one here is uh, the first thing and the then the second thing here so in order to check it what i can do let me click or rotate 3d and here i can see that this is the rotation in which at one instance i have one curve while at the other instance i have the second one okay so here from this point you can see that the first wave is the uh, sinusoidal wave similarly on any other axis you will also get that this is now the cosine waveform okay so that is about the plot 3 similarly if i will increase the instance here and also increasing the uh, frequency here what i can do here i will see that this will be the spiral shape here and uh, let me also have the grids here okay so now now you, it is clear that it is like a grid shape and uh, rotating it in a 3d manner you will see that okay so now this is from 0 to 1 and also here you can see that 0 to 1 here which is the thing which i have previously showed you okay uh, so you will have different instances here in these four coordinates which will be from 0 to 1 so here as well you can see that this is the spiral shape and uh, looking at different waveforms here you will see here that this is the which one is this one this is the uh, sinusoidal waveform okay so this is basically the one waveform while the other waveform can also be rotated like you can rotate it from here as well so this is the sinusoidal waveform while the other one was the cosine waveform and so on okay so these are basically in three di three dimensions you will see that both of these will construct a spiral shape waveform okay so that is all about the 3d uh, plotting here similar this is the spiral waveform what if i want to draw the funnel type waveform here of funnel type shape here i have to multiply it with another term which is the exponential decrease so exponential of minus t here and multiplying here with the dot product okay similarly this one here you can play with it as you like so 
now plotting it here and you will see that this is like a funnel layer which is uh, decreasing here okay in order to have more looks here so you will see that as the dimensions have been increased here it is from 0 to 2 so it is now the more points have been added into it because now 2 minus 0 divided by 0 0.001 will be the double of as that of the previously used point similarly um, if i increase it more you will see here as well okay so uh, this is all about it similarly <clears throat> what if i made it like this one you can play with it this is another waveform in which the sinusoidal waveform has been decreasing uh, exponentially while the cosine waveform has been increasing exponentially so you can see that this is another type of waveform which has different uh, shapes in many dimensions okay. you can look at these shapes and uh, you will also have the concept from looking these uh, mathematical functions that many of the 3d objects can be created from these waveforms as well okay uh, so play with it it is your task that you have to play with all these shapes uh, use more functions here like tangent hyperbolic sine hyperbolic and so on and play with plot 3 as well so after it we have another command which is called the surf and um, mesh grid so i will also discuss uh, those commands with the passage of time so up till now we have discussed all about the plotting and i will see you with some more plots some more examples of the matlab commands in our upcoming videos 